So this year we've created a farm landscape. We have created a cityscape with the winter. So today I thought we should try something a little different and I'm going to call it a spacecape. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the galaxy backdrop for our spacecape today. You can use markers with water. We're going to do a marker painting technique um, or you can use crayons. You can also use construction paper. So get what you are going to use and let's get okay, started. Okay, artist. so this is kind of where we're headed, but it's not going to look like this by the time you leave today. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to create the sky for our outer space, or not really the sky, but like the background where the stars are. Now, what I did is I used a marker, water, and a little bit of salt. I actually started with a white piece of paper. Now, if you don't have the markers at your house um, and you're doing this at home, you could try also using watercolor. And if you don't have watercolor or markers, then try using a crayon, and I'll show you how to do that at the end. So what I am, what I did when I was doing my uh, sky, I guess that's what we'll call it, even though it's not really sky, I was using these markers. I was using black, purple, and blue. Now if you have turquoise, that would be fine to put in there too. Um, and your markers don't even have to be fabulous markers. They could be drying out a little bit and it really won't matter. What we're gonna do, um, you're gonna start with one of the colors and it doesn't really even matter which one. I'm gonna use, and by the way, this cannot be a permanent marker, it won't work. It has to be a marker that when it gets wet, will smear and that's the key. So if you're gonna do this marker painting technique with me, what you're gonna do is just start by uh, adding color to your paper. Now it looks messy. It looks like a disaster. It looks like I'm scribbling, because I really kind of am. Don't worry, my marker you'll notice seems like it's drying out. I'm using kind of the flat part too, so that I can cover more area. Um, since my marker is kind of drying out, I'm gonna use a little more uh, of this. I'm gonna go color right to the edges. So it's a good idea to have a scrap paper underneath when you're working, or a messy mat. Something that will catch your uh, ink, and you don't have to worry about I'm doing a lot of black since this is outer space. Um, don't worry, the colors will get darker um, as we go here. So I'm gonna add some blue. And it's okay if you let these colors overlap one another. Um, we're trying to fill all of our paper quickly. We don't need it to we don't need to take ages and ages to finish this. I'm gonna do some blue over in the corner, along the edge, trying to fill up these empty spots. All right, it's time for some purple. All right, so I can keep going on this. I'm adding more and more ink. The more ink you do add to your paper, the darker uh, it will become uh, later on. So I've got, I think this is looking pretty good the way I have it. So here's the next step. You're going to take a uh, water, just simple water. Mine's a little dirty because I've already been using it today. Um, and a paintbrush. It doesn't even have to be, <laughs> you might get some marker on your hands by the way. So I think I will push up my sleeves so that I don't get it on my uh, shirt. And now what I going to do is I'm going to just start adding water. I am going to make sure I'm using plenty. It's okay if it puddles a little bit as long as it's not um, too much water. We don't want to wash off the marker off of our paper. We're just getting it wet. You'll notice I'm not really mixing it around and around. I get it wet and then I move on to a different spot. Um, it, it's really kind of neat when the colors blend and mix together. Um, and as this dries, the colors will keep moving. So I'm gonna wet down this whole paper and I'll show you what that looks like when I'm done. If you notice you have a big puddle somewhere, um, it seems like it's collecting in one spot, you can kind of grab that water and then move it over to a dry spot. Also, please make sure you're getting clear over to the edges. Uh, you don't wanna leave any spots dry on your paper. We want it to stay wet for a little bit because that's the secret here. Also, don't smash your brush. I'm going fast, but I'm not pushing hard on my brush. 
Um, and the reason I'm going fast is we're going to do something um, with some salt. And this is regular salt that you can buy at the grocery store. You might put it in your food at home. Um, so it's just table salt. And what we're going to do while this is still wet is this key. You can't let your paper be dry. It won't work. Okay, that looks really good. Just let it be kind of all warbly. Uh, oops, got one little dry spot. Make sure I get those edges really good. Okay, so now I've got that done. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use some salt. Um, and what I'm gonna do is sprinkle. Now, you don't need a ton. I'm just let that go on here. Now, I like to have some places where my paper is a little drier and some places where my paper is a little bit dark or a little more wet. I'm trying to get a little sprinkle everywhere. You don't wanna overdo it, okay? Now, what's going to happen? Nothing right away. This is gonna take some time, so it's going to dry. And as this dries, what's going to happen, everywhere there's a little piece of salt um, and your paper's wet, as it dries, that salt is going to react with the, with the water and the ink. And what happens is it, it causes it to dry faster and uh, it soaks it up a little bit. And because it's drying faster, it kind of bleaches it out. It looks like it's bleaching it out that spot, which is gonna be really cool because in the end, it will look like stars. Now where it's more wet, you'll have kind of a bigger spot sometimes. If it's really wet, it might not work at all. But I think that looks kind of neat as it dries too, where it's really wet. Um, if you've got a little bit drier spot, your little spots might be a little bit smaller, which really do look like stars and galaxies. It's kind of nice where you have some really close together and some far apart. So we're gonna just let this dry, and then next week I am going to show you how to create the planets, the other things that you're going to be putting in your outer space collage. Um, we'll start working on that next week. We'll probably won't finish the whole thing. So just let this dry. Don't mess around with it once you've got the salt on there. Once it's dry, if you're at home, send me a picture of your work. Wait till it's dry because I want to see how the salt worked on yours too. Um, and then when you're finished, save it. So now if you're at home, uh, you can use uh, paper. I've got some black paper here to add some uh, color. So I, I just have some construction paper, but I also kind of want to get that kind of swirly look that I had on the white paper with the marker. So you can take uh, crayons and sometimes I'll take um, purples just like before. Um, if you have chalks, they work even better than this or oil pastels. I'm gonna add a little bit of purple Maybe some blue in here, just to kind of give it that little bit of different tones. Um, and when you think you've got enough of those, maybe even a little bit of this kind of really bright. It's very subtle. It might even be hard for you to see this on the camera, but it does have lots of different colors. Now, the other thing I like to do is, of course, add the stars. Um, so I'm gonna take a white crayon when I add stars, I just do little dots. Now I don't go like this. First of all, that's very loud. Um, but also, you don't get really great dots. So what you wanna do is just push and give it a little wiggle to make your dots. And you'll notice I'm not evenly spacing them. Sometimes I let them be really far apart and other times I like to make them very close together. So, if you've got black paper, this is a great option if you don't have the markers. Now, if you don't have the black paper and you don't have markers, um, you can also do, I really do like that too, um, you can also do um, some coloring on regular paper. So I like to use old crayons because the old crayons, you can peel the paper off. Um, I'm gonna start by using some purples. And the nice thing about using the side of your crayon is it goes really fast. I'm gonna blend those colors together. I'm gonna to do some blues. And we will do some blacks. Oops, that's not black. Let's try this one. Some blacks or grays would work really good. So you can see there's all kinds of ways um, you can be creative and make your 
uh, galaxy kind of colored paper here. Um, and if you're at home and you're doing the crayon way, remember, or the marker array, to take a picture, upload it to Seesaw today so I can see how you're doing and what supplies, um, see your creative choices. Uh, you can try adding the white over the top that may or may not work, and if it doesn't work, don't worry about it. Um, you can always add some stars in later when we get to doing the planets and things. So, um, when you get done today, show me your artwork on Seesaw, and I can't wait to see what you, which way you've decided to make your paper today, whether you just did the marker construction paper, or if you did it with the white paper. Stay creative, and until next time, bye-bye.